attending our event tonight, uh, this afternoon, and I would especially like to thank our chief guest, J.S. Ranjan, and uh, in particular, I would like to say thank you to everything you've done to make it very easy uh, for companies around the world to set up here in, in Hyderabad. So we really are appreciative of that. Uh, let me start by telling you a little bit more about Model N. Uh, we are a New York Stock Exchange listed software company and uh, our products are built for uh, two different verticals. We sell into life sciences and high tech. And on the life sciences side, uh, we make a, a software package that's called revenue management. And revenue management is a category of software that makes it easy for our customers who are pharmaceutical manufacturers to navigate all of the complex regulations around the world, uh, including in the US, which I think holds the title of the most regulated market uh, in the world. On the life sciences side, our customers are 24 of the top 25 uh, pharma companies and include names that you would be familiar with like Novartis, J&J, uh, &J, uh, and, uh, and Pfizer, uh, Moderna. And so again, our software helps these global companies uh, deal with all the complex regulatory requirements so they can execute on their mission of getting their life-changing products out to the population of the world and, and improving the overall health of the human race. On the high-tech side, our products help uh, customers, primarily semiconductors and component manufacturers, more profitably distribute their uh, products through complex global channels. Our customers on the high-tech side include uh, AMD, Western Digital, and Qualcomm. And I think one of the things that uh, makes us very proud and excited to be in Hyderabad is we're able to collaborate locally with a number of these customers like Novartis and Qualcomm uh, and AMD, who are, are all local. Uh, so that's a little bit about our company and what we do. Um, I thought I'd also share a little bit with you just about the growth and how our company has been doing. Uh, Model N has, has had several successful years now through the pandemic. And then including this last year, as we've seen global markets uh, experience quite a bit of turmoil. Our last uh, fiscal quarter, Q3, was reported earlier this summer. And uh, we posted 24% uh, growth on our subscription software, which is our primary uh, business as a software company. Uh, we also had adjusted EBITDA margins of 18%. And so uh, investors really like Model N right now because we're growing profitably and we're generating cash and we're selling to very strategic end markets with life sciences uh, and, and high tech. Turning a bit to our team here in India, which I would characterize as the team that's really behind a lot of this uh, success. Um, we have been in India for a number of years, but uh, have just opened this brand new office and have grown significantly over the last uh, couple of years. And in our uh, innovation center here in India, we do a number of different things. Um, our primary function here is software development. And so our global team that designs, builds, and deploys our software is primarily all based here in Hyderabad. Um, we also have a very large professional services team that's based here in Hyderabad that helps implement our software globally uh, for our customers. Our teams that maintain all of our production environments for our customers is also based here. So all of the new innovation that we deploy into our uh, product is deployed by our team here. We also have information security uh, is based here. And then we also have a number of uh, other key functions. Our global support, customer support function is here. And a number of our corporate functions are also here on the facilities, people, and, uh, and finance side. And so I think one of the things that makes us really unique is we are a Silicon Valley headquartered company that actually does all of our development here in Hyderabad from design all the way through to deployment of our, of our software. And we've really found over the years, one of the things we love about the, the market here is we're able to find with the, the pharma uh, customers that are here and the high tech customers that are here and then the great technologists that are here, we're able to find a great mix of business and, uh, and technical uh, teams here to support our growth. I think the other thing that's important to point out uh, about our India team is they really do lead 
on other important topics like diversity, equity, and inclusion. And in fact, this morning we had a corporate social responsibility event. Um, we partner with a couple of local public schools and provide uh, some of the materials that are necessary for students to get a great education through the public school system here in India. And ultimately our goal is for them to become model and employees uh, after they, they get through the, the school system. Uh, a few more things and then I'll pass it on to uh, Suresh. Uh, the success of the company and the success we've had investing here uh, in India has allowed us to really grow our investment and open this brand new office. Uh, in Hyderabad. Um, we just opened it uh, right after the pandemic uh, started to wind down. It's been really great to see our employees coming back into the office and collaborating around building software and servicing our customers. And over the last uh, year and a half, our headcount here has grown 53%. Uh, so we've gone from just over 300 employees to over 460 employees. Someone told me earlier today it was actually over 470 now. And so we continue to invest locally. And again, we really love uh, the business expertise and the software development expertise that we're uh, able to get here uh, locally. And that's really what's been a big part of our company's success and our expansion. And uh, this office is just the next milestone for us in our journey. And uh, we have a bit of capacity here where we'll be able to grow and hire over the next couple of years. But we do expect the trend of investing here in Hyderabad that we've seen over the last couple of years to be the case uh, going forward. So again, uh, appreciate everyone attending today, including Jayesh. We really do appreciate everything you're doing uh, locally for our company here and, and others around the world that have chosen Hyderabad. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Suresh to say a few words. Thank you, Jason. Good afternoon, everyone, and uh, thank you all for coming. It gives me great pleasure to be here at uh, Hyderabad in the grand opening of our India Innovation Center in the presence of uh, Sri Jayesh Ranjanji. Uh, three years ago, when uh, Jason and I visited pre-pandemic, this place was a few pillars and iron rods and a blueprint. From there to a brand new facility, um, speaks to the pace at which economic development is happening in Hyderabad and also to the team here, local team, who's been working very diligently to bring that vision to reality. Um, pandemic or not, this team didn't miss a beat. Our India Innovation Center is a critical infrastructure for us, as Jason alluded, and as a global product leader of Model N, I have more than half of my team based here with capabilities, everything from conception of a product designing and developing and delivering and supporting our customers across life sciences and high-tech verticals all around the world. So this is such an important capability center that we have built. And our teams are, are developing and delivering cutting-edge products and capabilities for both life sciences and high-tech customers. With the, Jason's vision for where we want to go, where we want to take Model N, how we want to serve our customers, internally we call that as Model N 3.0. We have new cutting edge skills uh, that we need. Data, advanced analytics, machine learning, artificial intelligence. We already have examples of products that are conceived and developed and built and delivered out of this Model N Innovation Center. We continue to seek such skill sets as we grow our footprint in Hyderabad. Also, and finally, being located centrally in Hyderabad and with educational institutions being great around here and then such business friendly policies um, by the local administration, we expect to expand our footprint here in Hyderabad in the years to come as our business continues to grow globally. So with that, let me invite Sri Jayesh Ranjanji to say a few words. And thank you again all for coming. <coughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, <coughs> so with your permission, Jason and Suresh, I'll speak in vernacular for a while. Yeah, please. Well, I'll give you a quick summary in English. So, <coughs> you know, you model N Valadi, Kota office, Raramichidam, Idichala Chala, 
ఆనందకరంగా ఉంది వాళ్ళు హైదరాబాద్లో రెండు వేల తొమ్మిది సంవత్సరం నుంచి ఇక్కడ ఉన్నారు కానీ గత మూడు నాలుగు సంవత్సరాల్లోనే అత్యధికంగా వాళ్ళు కొత్త వాళ్ళకి ఇక్కడ ఉద్యోగం ఇవ్వడము వాళ్ళ బిజినెస్ అభివృద్ధి చేయించడం ఈ మధ్యలోనే జరిగింది అండ్ ఇలా రాజేశ్వర్ గారు చెప్పినట్టుగా సుమారు ఒక ఐదు వందల మంది ఇక్కడ వాళ్ళ ఆఫీస్లో ఉన్నారు బట్ భవిష్యత్తులో కూడా ఇంట్లో ఇంకా చాలా గణనీయంగా వృద్ధి జరిగే అవకాశం ఉన్నట్టుగా వాళ్ళు ఇందాక నాకు కూడా చెప్పి ఉన్నారు ఈరోజు వాళ్ళు ఒక చాలా ముఖ్యమైన విషయం ఏమంటున్నారు అంటే వాళ్ళు రెండు రకమైన కంపెనీస్ కోసం సాఫ్ట్వేర్ తయారు చేస్తారు ఒకటి లైఫ్ సైన్సెస్ కంపెనీస్ ఒకటి సెమీ కండక్టర్ విఎల్ఎస్ఐ హైటెక్ కంపెనీస్ అనమాట అండ్ హైదరాబాద్లో ఒక ప్రత్యేకత ఏముంది అంటే ఈ రెండు రంగాల్లో లైఫ్ సైన్సెస్ రంగాల్లో అదేవిధంగా సెమీ కండక్టర్ విఎల్ఎస్ఐ రంగాల్లో కూడా కొత్త భారతదేశంలోనే ఇది ఒక చాలా ముఖ్యమైన కేంద్రం కాబట్టి లైఫ్ సైన్సెస్ గురించి చెప్పాల్సిందిగా అవసరం లేదు భారతదేశమే కాదు మొత్తం ప్రపంచంలోనే హైదరాబాద్కి ఒక చాలా విశిష్టమైన గుర్తింపు ఉంది ఎనిమిది వందల పైన ఇక్కడ లైఫ్ సైన్సెస్ కంపెనీస్ ఉన్నాయి మొత్తం ప్రపంచంలో వన్ థర్డ్ ఒక ముప్పై మూడు శాతం వ్యాక్సిన్స్ మన హైదరాబాద్లో తయారవుతాయి ఔషధి రంగంలో కూడా ఫార్మా రంగంలో కూడా సుమారు ఒక నలభై శాతం భారతదేశంలో తయారయ్యే మన మెడిసిన్స్ ఫార్మాసిటికల్ ప్రోడక్ట్స్ నలభై శాతం ఇక్కడ హైదరాబాద్లో తయారవుతాయి సో వాళ్ళ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ముఖ్యంగా హైదరాబాద్కి చెందిన కంపెనీస్ కావచ్చు భారతదేశానికి చెందిన కంపెనీస్ కావచ్చు వాళ్ళు ఇతర దేశంలో ఎక్స్పోర్ట్ చేస్తూ ఉంటే అక్కడ నిబంధాలు నియమాలు ఏవి ఎట్లా పాటించాలి అట్లాంటి విషయానికి సంబంధించిన వాళ్ళ సాఫ్ట్వేర్ ఉంది అండ్ ఇందాక నేను చెప్పినట్టుగా హైదరాబాద్ నుంచి చాలా ఉమ్మరంగా ఎక్స్పోర్ట్స్ జరుగుతూ ఉంటాయి అంటే మొత్తం భారతదేశంలో వన్ థర్డ్ రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆన్ ద ఆన్లైన్ పార్టిసిపెంట్స్ టు ప్లీజ్ కీప్ దర్ మైండ్స్ ఆన్ బ్యూట్ ప్లీజ్ కీప్ యువర్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఆన్ బ్యూట్ టిల్ టిల్ వీ ఓపెన్ అప్ ఫర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ సో ఇట్లాంటి సాఫ్ట్వేర్ కి ఈరోజు మొత్తం ప్రపంచంలోనే చాలా గిరాకీ ఉంది చాలా అవసరం ఉంది అండ్ దానివల్ల వాళ్ళకి బిజినెస్ అభివృద్ధి కూడా చాలా గణనీయంగా జరుగుతూ ఉంది అదేవిధంగా విఎల్ఎస్ఐ మరియు సెమీ కండక్టర్ కంపెనీస్ కూడా హైదరాబాద్లో చాలా ఉన్నాయి అంటే అన్నీ పేరు పొందిన కంపెనీస్ క్వాల్కామ్ కావచ్చు ఇంటెల్ కావచ్చు మైక్రాన్ ఏఎండి మాస్చేన్ జైలెన్స్ ప్రతి ఒక్క అంటే సుమారు ఇట్లాంటి ముప్పై ముప్పై ఐదు పెద్ద పెద్ద సెమీ కండక్టర్ కంపెనీస్ ఇక్కడ ఉన్నాయి సో ఒక్క రకమైన సాఫ్ట్వేర్ వాళ్ళు అట్లాంటి కంపెనీస్ కోసం కూడా తయారు చేస్తారు సో హైదరాబాద్లో ఉండడం వల్ల చుట్టుపక్కల ఉన్న కంపెనీస్ నుంచి కూడా వాళ్ళకి భవిష్యత్తులో మంచి బిజినెస్ వచ్చే అవకాశం ఉంది ప్లస్ యుఎస్ నుంచి యూరప్ నుంచి కూడా చాలామంది క్లయింట్స్ వాళ్ళకి ఉన్నారు సో ఇట్లాంటి కంపెనీ హైదరాబాద్ భారతదేశంలో ఎక్కడ ఎక్కడికైనా వాళ్ళు వాళ్ళ ఆఫీస్ని డెవలప్మెంట్ సెంటర్ని పెట్టి ఉండవచ్చు బట్ హైదరాబాద్లో పెట్టడం అన్ని సంవత్సరాలుగా ఇక్కడే ఆ నమ్మకం పెట్టుకొని ఇదే సెంటర్ని ఇంకా అభివృద్ధి చేసుకుంటూ పోవడం ఇది చాలా గొప్ప విషయం సో జేసన్ గారికి సురేష్ గారికి నా అభినందన తెలియపరుస్తున్నాను అండ్ భవిష్యత్తులో కూడా వాళ్ళ అభివృద్ధికి ఏదైనా సహాయ సహకారం వాళ్ళకి ప్రభుత్వం నుంచి అవసరం అవుతుందో అది నూటికి నూట శాతం వాళ్ళకి వెనక ప్రభుత్వ బలం పూర్తిగా ఉంటుందో అని కూడా వాళ్ళకి తెలియపరుస్తూ సో జేసన్ అండ్ సురేష్ you may be wondering what i have spoken that <laughs> trust trust me i have not spoken anything bad about the company <laughs> i have i have actually praised you quite a lot thank you i have appreciated the fact that you have you could have gone anywhere in india but you chose to come to hyderabad and you have retained your faith in this city you have grown here today you are close to 500 and i am sure sky is the limit for the future and i also shared with the press people that one of the advantages that hyderabad offers to you is that the two verticals that you are very strong in life sciences and high tech industries comprising of semiconductors and vlsi these two sectors are very important for us as well life sciences we are the in a way the global hub 
one third of the world's vaccines are made here. Our companies also do lots of global exports. In yeah. fact, uh, uh, I did not mention this in Telugu, but it just struck me that uh, <clears throat> the Export Promotion Council for the Life Sciences sector, it is called Pharmexil, that is actually headquartered here in Hyderabad. And uh, our exports uh, also are uh, increasing both in terms of the volumes and also in terms of coverage, the number of new countries, new geographies that are added year after year after year. So, I'm very confident that you will get lots of business from amongst these countries, uh, these companies also, the homegrown companies, because the pain points when they have to decide to enter into a new geography, the compliances, the strategy, the go-to market approach, these are big challenges, big pain points, particularly due to the unfamiliarity. Every country has its own uh, peculiarities, etc. So, the ability of you, of Model N, to find solutions, to give them a customized solution on how to navigate their journey in those countries, that is something uh, tremendously useful for them. And similarly, the semiconductor and the VLSA industry is pretty strong here. Some of the best known companies are here. They are also expanding big time. So. I'm sure you will be able to become a very integral part of the local ecosystem in these two verticals. You will benefit from them, but I'm sure you will also enrich that ecosystem. So I look forward to your continued growth and success here in Hyderabad. And uh, uh, the government, the Telangana government will always be a strong partner, yes. an able partner for all your future endeavors, for your growth. And I wish all of you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.